Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJ and here we are already in Adobe Lightroom and I'm going to be showing you how I edit my landscape photos that I took here in my city and it gets even better. If you want to edit along with me, I made this file free to download for you guys. All you have to do is click the first link in this video's description to download this photo and edit along with me. You're going to need your own copy of Lightroom to edit with me. So go ahead and check the second link as to where you can download Lightroom. I'll give you a second to download it. Let's go. So here we are in Lightroom. I'm in my library mode. And when you download the photo and you want to import it to start editing, you can import it in one of two ways. You can just drag and drop it in from your computer in your library module, or you can go to file up top here and then import photos and video, right? So I already have mine here. What I'm going to do next is switch to my develop module so we can develop or edit our photo by clicking D on our keyboard. So. Here we are in our develop module. I took this photo with my Nikon Z6. Here are my settings. And I believe I took this, yeah, I took this on April 1st at 6.25 p.m. Chill. Just before the sun was starting to set. So there's not a lot of colors in the sky, but we shot this raw in camera. So we're able to manipulate it and get a little bit more out of what you see here, right? So let's start editing. The first thing I normally do is, I normally just bump up the contrast to like, anywhere between 30 and 40. You can see what that did already. Let me just hit Ctrl Z to undo that. I'll show you the before and afters as we go along, so don't worry about it, right? Next thing I wanna do is I wanna just hit the shadows because this area right here is a little bit dark. So let me just punch the shadows a little bit. Let me go to blacks as well and just go to minus 26. Anywhere there is cool. This is just how I like to edit, right? And then we have highlights here highlights in the clothes here if i were to just drag this down you can see what's happening there right we're getting some more data getting back some more information in the sky right here right because this is a before and you can see there's a lot going on here in the after right let me just hide this all right so here we are with more image on our screen and let's go ahead and just touch the saturation just a little bit like 20 is fine for me what I want to do also is I want to warm up this image a bit because it's a little bit cool, all right? It's a little bit on the bluer side of the temperature scale. So let me just come here to my temperature and just nudge this up a little bit. Where were we? We're at 5,000. Let's do 5,150 or 5,200. The cool thing about Lightroom is you can play around and test all of these sliders to see the results that you'll get, right? I don't even think I need this photo strip here. Let me just hide that. No, we're looking good, right? Let me also hide the name of the image here. We don't, we don't need that anymore. All right, so no, we're looking decent-ish. Let me just bump the exposure some more, right? That's looking a little bit better. I have some vignetting going on around the edge of the photo, which is all right with me. I'm not going to get too crazy about that. But what I want to do now is I want to start manipulating the colors that are present in this image. So take a look at this. What do you see? You see blue here. You see yellow, orangish gold over here. You see green here in the trees, obviously. A little bit of reds and browns or oranges over here in the mountains. So let's come down to our color mixer, right? Here we are at our color mixer. If yours is closed like this, all you have to do is just click and open it. And let's just bump up some of the saturation. Let's do some blues, right? You see what's happening there. So we started here. You can see that, right? Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, right? We have some yellows and oranges, as I mentioned. Let's see what's happening. Nothing really crazy with the oranges. So let's leave it as is. Let's do yellow. You see that? Yellow is doing some things, giving us some work, right? Green, green is giving a little bit of work. Let's see the aquas, uh, a little bit as well. Purple, not a lot, but let me just move that to the negative side because I don't really like the purple here in this image. Magenta, not a lot either, so that's cool. We can double click and bring it back to zero. And what I personally like to do here is I like to go to the hue, right? We were just under saturation. We we're just intensifying the colors. With hue, I can shift the range of the color. So like for the blue, I can go to extreme blue, make the blue purples, or I can turn the blue into a little bit of a teal or aqua, like so, right? 
let's hit Y4 before and after. This is where we started. Sorry, this is where we started. This is where we are right now. And you can see we're starting to get somewhere, right? Go back to our main image. I think I want to go back up top and just add some more contrast just to bring some more life into it, right? And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go, let me just add all of the exposure that I want because I'm going to fix this area down here by itself, right? And let me add some clarity and some dehaze. Uh, let me just add a little bit of dehaze, right? See what the blacks are giving me. I don't really want to touch the blacks too much. Highlights though, I can work with the highlights. All right, let's go to the masking, which is this circle right here. Or you can use the shortcut Shift and W. And then Photoshop is going to work for me. And then, not Photoshop, sorry, Lightroom is going to work for me. And then, but that's fine because one time it was called Photoshop Lightroom. So it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Let's go ahead and click Sky. It's going to detect the sky in the photo for me. And then we can edit the sky specifically. So this red area right here is what Lightroom thinks is the sky. And it thought, right. So I can even take off some more highlights, right? I can add some more saturation. See that? Let's not get too crazy. We don't want it to look too fake, right? That's pretty cool. If you ask me, I don't think I'm going to touch too much there. What I want to do is I want to go back to the masking, right? I want to go back to the mask and I want to create a new mask. And I just want to use the brush here. You see, I just went to the plus sign and added a mask because this first mask is the sky. And I have a blank mask you now that I can just brush. And I just want to brush this area right here. The area in the foreground, you know, the hillside, the mountain side, that's a little bit darker. And I just want to match it in exposure just a little bit, ever so slightly. What I want to do is I want to just pop the shadows see that so I was here I just hit the shadows a little bit no I'm here no we're looking more balanced right you know the foreground is as exposed as the background which is the sky so we're getting somewhere next I want to just touch the saturation up a little bit so you can see what's happening there that's a little bit too crazy if we go all the way over to minus 100 that's cool but that's not what we want let me just go a little bit, just a little bit, right? And then let me warm it up some more as well. Uh, just like that. What else can I do here? I can sharpen the foreground as well. See that? So this is with all the sharpening gone. This is with me adding more sharpening. I don't want all the sharpening in the world. All right, so I can just close the mask now because I think I'm at a decent place with this image. So. Let me hit Y for my before and after. This is where we started. This is where we are right now. And you can already see, like we've already created magic, right? If you're editing along with me and you're creating magic as well, just comment magic down below, right? Let's hit Y again to go back to our current state. And if you wanted to, you can come all the way down to lens corrections and you can enable profile corrections, right? And for my camera, the corrections are built in. It's already built in into the Nikon Z6 with the Nikon 40 millimeter Z lens. And I can just click Nikon here and it will detect the lens that it think you took this picture with. In this case, it got it wrong because I didn't take this with that Nikon 105-14, right? I did not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna undo that by hitting Control Z, right? If yours is correct, you can keep it because you saw what it did, right? It corrected the vignetting that I mentioned. This is a dark halo around the outside of the image. See that? It's gone. So that's decent, but that's not the lens that I use. So I don't want that correction. What I will do, however, is I'll just go to the manual tab here and just correct the vignetting manually like so, right? Which works for me. So it's not too terrible. So Control Z, that's what it was like before. Pay attention to this dark area around the edge. This is what it was like when I manually corrected it, right? So we're getting somewhere. We're actually getting somewhere. So that's good for me. I'm just gonna go back up and just see what else I can just like fiddle around with this image. Let's go to detail, add some sharpening. I like to be anywhere in the 70s is good for me, right? I don't wanna get too crazy. Let's go back to saturation under my color mixer. Let's pump the greens some more. 
Uh, yellow. What's going on with the yellow? I'll just keep that. Am I getting any orange? No, not too much. Reds? No, nothing there. No purple either. So I'll just bring them all out. All right. So I like where we are so far. I just want to add a little more punch to it. Maybe some more clarity. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe some more contrast. Uh, it's a little bit more contrast, right? Right. Let me just bring the exposure. It's at 0.69 right now. Let me just go up 0 0.79, 0 0.89. Maybe not all the way up to like a full stop of exposure correction. Hit Y for the before and after. And hey, I'm comfortable. I like it. I'm just going to park right here. What do you guys think? Have you been editing with me? Remember to let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you like this tutorial and you want to see more of my photo editing inside of Lightroom, remember to comment down below and let me know. Remember to download this photo and edit along with me if you missed that earlier. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.